ask Tom on home show. Jamie from Longmont, Colorado has vaulted vexation. He did well. He's got a, obviously that's what happens when you have a vaulted ceiling. He's having an oh. issue specifically with the vaulted ceiling area of his roof, Tom. Jamie writes to us, when the roof decking was removed, we found mold on the underside and I installed uh, ventilation baffles and six inch fiberglass insulation and new roof decking. And we added a ridge vent and four inch round soffit vents in every bay. When it gets super cold though, water drips from the top of the skylight, but we could find no leaks. Could the skylight itself be causing condensation or is this a ventilation issue tom well if you have a vaulted ceiling and it's full of insulation and you vent it also that's a big mistake so i don't know if that's exactly what he has but i'm going to cover just a couple of topics here so what you would want to do is have no ventilation at all you want it to be totally sealed so no air that has humidity and in colorado you get snowy cold days there's the humidity's up and it's getting up in there and it's also making it warm and making it want to melt a little bit and you can get some ice dams and stuff. So you either have an, a fully ventilated attic or you don't have any ventilation at all, but don't allow the air to get up into the insulation and it kind of stops and it'll get into the roof decking. And then roof decking being wood will start to get some mold and, and whatnot on it, which is not a good thing. Now, when it comes to a skylight, unless it's a really high quality one, it's going to condensate. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to reach dew point, and, and what happens is it becomes liquid. It goes from a, a, a humidity, which is a gas, to a liquid, and then it starts to drip, and it'll find its way all around. I don't think in a hard rain during a normal time of year you have a leak. This is happening when it's super cold, you're heating your house, and it's reaching dew point on the inside and maybe the outside of the glass, making it all melt, and, well, melted snow is water. And so it's finding its way around different areas too. So <clears throat> what it would be to me is if it's because it's ventila ventilated and it's a vaulted ceiling and you have insulation that's packed in there, get rid of the ventilation. Get rid of the ridge vents, get rid of the soffit vents and tighten it up super tight because that's just the way a vaulted ceiling is. If it's the, the, the uh, skylight and it's happening all around the lower side of the skylight where the water's wanting to come down, then what you need to do is either remove the skylight and get rid of it altogether, which a lot of people will do, because quite frankly, a window on a roof doesn't make a lot of sense. It has to be a really specific reason you have it. And secondly, if you want to keep it, go to a really high-end one, like a Velux or something that really is well insulated, probably a triple pane glass or some kind of uh, uh, plexiglass type system that's super well insulated so it doesn't reach dew point. The, the whole idea is the outside glass stays super cold and the inside glass stays warm like it's supposed to on the inside of the home and nothing in between. That's all an insulator that keeps it from changing temperatures. And they're very expensive, but there are out there if you get a good quality one. I've been sitting next to you for more than a couple decades, right? And I learned yes. something every day when I sit with you. And today, I learned that snow, when it melts, <laughs> is water. Now, I always thought, now, I always thought in the water cycle that water became snow mm -hmm. and then became water again. There's no cycle. There's all cycles. It can start at any form it is, but you're okay. right. <laughs> now, how about this? Just for a tip real quick before we, you're going to end this, yeah. is one inch of water is 10 inches of snow. There you go. And stay away from the yellow stuff. All right, you got a question, <laughs> yes. click on the Ask Tom. It'll take you this page, you fill it out, you send it in, we'll answer your questions. That's what we do. It's why we live. It's why we're here and we want to serve you. So go ahead and send the questions. We want to serve you so much that Tom makes <clears> us <throat> post one of these every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year at homeshowradio.com. There's a new one up there every day. And you also find them on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And by the way, if you watch one of them on YouTube, Give us a thumbs up because it helps us, it helps make them easier to find for other people. You'll be helping us and other people too.